All right, Lord, stay with me because I got a woman driver here. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to our channel Hidden Heights Farm and today we got a few special things for you guys. First, we got some mail call that we're going to talk about but we can't talk about it until Rachel gets home. Uh, we both need to be a part of that. We're both super excited because we know what is in the package and who sent it so we're super thrilled about that and we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, I've got to go out to the shop and <sighs> take care of a little project that I've been putting off for a long time so You know every time we come out to the shop We're always shooting video and stuff out here and a lot of our subscribers comment on a Annoying sound that they hear in the background and that annoying sound is our lighting that we have in here uh, We got some older halogen style bulbs in these old fixtures in our shop and today I went by after work and picked up some Four foot LED lights that I got, got to install into the shop that way when we're doing projects and such in the shop you guys don't have to be stuck with the annoying sound from the lights and it is annoying I agree but uh the main reason that we're gonna try to get these done today is because we got to extract honey and we're gonna do that out here in our shop but we didn't want to do that with the annoying sound of these lights so let me show you something else we got Bear with me on the light in here. It gets a little bit uh, dark. I'm going to flip these lights on so I can show you guys the noise. And yesterday, Rachel and I spent half the day out here. It was 97 degrees. And we spent the day out here clearing out our shop and ordered some racks last night. Waiting for them to arrive. And then we're going to start trying to organize a little better. Uh, two years ago, we started building the house. And... In between all the tools and this and that, you know, our shop got cluttered up. I had too much junk, for one. But anyways, we got all that cleaned up. We got a mess right now, but when those shelves come, we're going to try to get everything order organized. But let me show you something I'm super proud of, and I can't wait to try it. Alright guys, so everybody's waiting for us to harvest this honey. And I got online, I ordered this electric honey extractor. So this bad boy is what we're going to use to extract the honey from the frames that we got. You stick your frames down in there, turn it on, this thing starts spinning. And that's of course after you uh, uncap your frames, all the wax and all that. So anyways, we're going to try to get some of these lights hung. And here is the light that is a noisy sucker. You guys, I'm sure you guys can hear that just buzzing away. So... And while I'm in here, I've had several people ask me about this flag and want to know if I am a uh, Native American. And yes, I am. I am a proud citizen of the Cherokee Nation. Just to throw that out there. So, anyways guys, these lights hopefully will be gone soon. I got these fixtures here. And we're going to try to get these thrown up. Hopefully I got everything to do it. And I got the T8 LED bulbs right here that we're going to throw in there. So, I'm going to get busy on that and try to get some of these hung up before Rachel gets home. And we might have another project going on. Alright guys, so I spent uh, about an hour and a half or so out here in the shop. And listen closely. That bad humming light is gone. Um, I only got three of the LED lights installed, but Rachel's home. And we got other stuff to do. We got to open that uh, package we got in the mail today to show you guys what we got. And who it was from. But I'm pretty... Uh, proud of these uh, LED lights. I'm uh, glad I went ahead and bought these. I'm going to go buy some more because they are going to work great. Let me show you guys what they look like. Alright guys, so that's the new LED lights and those are the old 
halogen style bulbs and they're super loud and I still have one over here and it's buzzing just a little bit so I gotta take those guys out but I'm in no hurry to do that because I'll just have to store them until I can get rid of them but I got these lights installed and uh, they're lighting up the place pretty good so I'm pumped about that just gotta get a couple more to put in the middle so like I said uh, Rachel is home now so let's go in the house and see if we can't do that mail call opening and show you guys what we got in the mail and on a bright note me and Skeeter is really enjoying the uh, weather we got a little cold front moved in and the high today was like 86 degrees so as soon as we open the mail we got another project we got to tackle I'm not really looking forward to it it's got to get done so let's go open that mail so we can carry on with the evening all right guys here we are Rachel's home and we got the mail and this mail call is from a up-and-coming youtuber that goes by the name of Sunny Slope Homestead if you guys uh, have never seen his videos go check out his channel he's still pretty small uh, he was on our live chat uh, I think last weekend when we were online and you know he helps us out a lot so go check him out show him some love I think he was at he just hit 500 subscribers and he did a giveaway and during that giveaway we sent a lot of subscribers over there and I think we helped him out a lot so in return he said he was gonna send us a box so I'm gonna let Rachel open it <clears throat> Thank you, Sunny Slope, yes, by the way. Yes, thank you, buddy. And I believe Sunny Slope is a Marine, just like Dutch. So uh, thank you for your service, Sunny Slope. And he's got a uh, really family-friendly channel, just like the rest of us in this homesteading community. And he is from Nebraska, I think that said. Cornhusker. Yep, Nebraska. Man, you weren't lying about the uh, shipping on these boxes. It's ridiculous. I'll get it eventually. All right, let's go back a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Holy cow. All right. He hooked us up with a ton of jerky. We got a whole bunch of jalapeno. Yeah, he jerky. said a whole bunch. Look at this. Holy cow. Thank you so much. You guys know we like spicy stuff, so how awesome One, is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages. Eight packages of this Jacqueline. This is awesome stuff. Sunny Slope, thanks again, bud. Thank you. Guys, check out this clip to Sunny Slope, Sunny Slope's video that he posted today. He did some funny editing. Alright guys, we gotta try this. We love spicy stuff. I don't know if I've ever tried the jalapeno. That's really good. That's awesome. Wow, thank you so much. We appreciate that. Guys, go check out Sunny Slope's uh, channel and tell him Hidden Heights Farm, Kevin and Rachel sent you over there. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe it. If subscribe if you like what you see. Like I said earlier, he has a really family friendly channel, a lot of funny stuff. He does a lot of the same stuff that we do here on our farm. So go check him out and show him some love. Thanks guys. Thank you, Sunny Slope. All right guys, so we're fixing to start on another project and I got my helper here. So uh, here's the lights, Rachel. What do you think of them? <laughs> you think they're better than the old ones? Well, they're quiet. They're quiet. I don't know if they're quite as bright, but how many are you putting up? I'm going to put in six total for now. I'm going to put one in the middle of these two. And then one over here. Which is pretty bright. Even when you close the door, it's pretty bright. So. Well, it's better than them loud ones. Yeah, we don't have the loud, annoying noise. And I already told them about this bee extractor. Or the honey extractor. And that's why we're, uh, we wanted to do that out here in the shop. So that's why I went ahead and started replacing lights. So we can film it and not have the annoying buzzing sound. We still have a lot of cleanup. Oh, obviously yeah. to do. Yeah, I told them I ordered shelves. Uh, we're going to try to put some shelves all along this wall so we can uh, try to store some of this stuff a little better. I hauled off tons of uh, junk yesterday in my truck. So. 
it's what happens when you just hoard stuff and hoard stuff and you think you're gonna use it but eventually you got to get He's rid of the it hoarder. yeah so not me anyways all right so we got a project that we've been needing to do it is time to start harvesting our corn mm -hmm. and it's kind of embarrassing because i have not got the chance to go till up the garden so the weeds are just as tall as the corn so we're gonna have to fight through the jungle of weeds to harvest the corn because i just have not had time to get that tiller to go through the rows and till all the weeds down so we're going to uh, go fight through the weed maze and uh, start harvesting some corn. So here we go. All right, Lord, stay with me because I got a woman driver here. <laughs> All right, so one thing I forgot to say about those lights that I installed, uh, they're, they don't produce heat. The old ones put off a lot of heat and uh, also they pulled a lot of wattage. So it took a lot of electric to run them uh, bigger lights that I had these LEDs I think they're like 16 watt per bulb so 32 watts per fixture so it should save us a little money on the electric bill you know as you leave them on for a while so anyways we're out here at the jungle oh my god I am not in South America I promise we're still at the farm so bear with us we're gonna try to get through all these weeds and pick some corn harvested our corn this year like I said uh, apologize for the weeds being so bad I should not have ever let it get out of control like that but anyways we got what we got out of our harvest and I think we waited about a week or two too long to harvest because some of it's a little bit dried up as you can see the color and we're gonna save these husks and feed it to the goats and the chickens but you can see the corn here we still got to go through and shuck these and clean all the ends off and make sure there's no worms and all that and stick them in all in the freezer. What we do is shuck it back like this, get all the silk off and uh, cut off the bad ends and then we'll stick them in freezer bags. Wash them. Well, yeah, we wash them, stick them in freezer bags and then uh, freeze them. Then we pull out, you know, we got family of four. We usually cook, what, five or six ears is usually good for us and uh, Anyway, it makes for a good good little uh, side dish for uh, dinner, and or you can eat it raw. It's pretty good raw. Real sweet. So anyways, I'm going to go feed this to the uh, goats and see if they'll eat it. I don't know if they'll eat it or not. Mr. Turkey will eat part of this bad end here. Oh, the chickens are eating. You dropped it. Yeah, I actually dropped it. Oh, the goat wants it. You got it. Here, I'll share. Ready? Here, Tom. Try that. Oh, you got it. Go, get it and go. There you go. <laughs> Here. He lost it. Did he? All right. I tried. Sorry, bud. Chickens oh, love he it. got it back again. He likes it. Zoom in on him there. Where are all my shadows in the way? Yeah, Mr. Tom loves that corn. Then you got our chickens and a rooster. And Sally, she's eating the husk. Yeah, they're all loving every part of it, actually. Chickens are eating the corn and the goats are eating the husk. <laughs> you better go, Mr. T. Yeah, well, if he wants the corn, he's going to have to come get it. He don't know. <laughs> wiping, his, wiping his beard or his beak off. The rooster's fixing to steal it. He waited too long. Yep. <laughs> he loves it. 
ず。So this is our、uh, end of our harvest here for the corn. We've got several buckets here full. So we did wait about a week too long in super, super hot heat, which dried some of them out. So we are a little hesitant about what we're going to get out of this harvest. Yeah, it might become animal food because we did wait a little yeah, too long. Like、uh, some of these are pretty dry. This spring, it all started out great. We didn't have to water this thing one time, and then a few weeks ago, it got super dry. I don't know if that's what it is, or if we wait a little too long. But I mean, there's still some in here that we're going to be able to put some in the freezer. So we've been out here shucking all this corn, and it has not been too successful. And we like to keep it real, real. All right, guys. So we've been out here shucking this corn for a while, and we have not had a very successful year of harvesting corn.、Uh, we thought we were doing good.、Uh, we were letting the ears get up to size, and what was happening, I guess, is they got too dry. So a normal ear of corn. This has had the end broke off. That's that was bad, but. You see how these kernels are nice and plump, and probably about 80 to 90 percent of them look like this here, kind of shriveled up and dried up. So, like 95 percent. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of corn that we're going to be able to eat. A lot of this is going to be animal food, but we wanted to share that with you guys because we like to keep it real here on our channel. So just so you guys know,、uh, everything's not always paradise、we、on the farm.、Failed. Yeah, we failed, failed for sure. Failures. This year. Right. But live and learn. All right. Now we know not to procrastinate the next time and、uh, get it picked. Sure. Because we've done all the shucking. A lot of shucking. And you can see our scrap buckets are way more full. Right. Than our good pile. So, anyways, guys,、uh, we're done with the corn this year. Anyways, only thing that might benefit. Out of this is Rachel is wanting to keep the、uh, corn stalks as some fall decorations, so that might work out. I don't know.、Uh, the anim animals, animals are going to benefit for sure. Yeah, they'll get lots of scraps. All right. Sure. So,、uh, anyways, guys, thanks for coming along with us today. We're going to end this video now.、Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this corn. I guess we'll try to dry out the ones that are already dry, and the ones that are good we'll pick out, and we might go cook them right now because there's not that much to put up in the freezer. <laughs> so,、uh, once again, we were failures, just so you know. And、uh, if you guys like what you saw today, please subscribe to our channel. Click that notification bell down below, so you know, so you know when we post new content. Smash that like button, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>
Here, Daisy. See if she'll jump on. 